hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I do have some bad news. Instagram has yet again changed its recommended sizing. Well, not I'm saying recommended sizing as a business owner. You, my friend, can post whatever size you would like, but as a business owner, I think posting this new size is very strategic. So let's dive in. Hi, if we have not met before, welcome. My name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who helps business owners create strategic and beautiful designs using easy to use programs just like Canva. And today we're talking about Canva and Instagram. And Instagram has gone through a whole lot of changes this year. I'm gonna share a video here where I have gone through some of their most recent updates, but this little update that's come out in the last week will throw a curly spanner in the works. So in essence, Instagram started out as posting square posts. That was the whole vibe of Instagram, we used to post a square post. It then expanded its vision and you can post landscape posts. I don't recommend doing that unless you're a photographer and you're trying to show off a beautiful landscape. For us business owners, our main goal is not to show off a beautiful landscape photo, but it's to capture attention of our audience. And the best way to capture attention is to take up more of the page because then you have more space to capture attention with. So for the last few years, I've been recommending instead of posting square posts, you use the four by five ratio, which is 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels, which is a little bit taller, which means that you can stand out more on the Instagram grid scroll. But here's where the change comes in. You can now post even taller posts as of this past week. So what are these new dimensions? Well, this new ratio is three by four. So to recap, this was the old size, the square size. Then this was the four by five size, which I do recommend posting in over square. And now this is the most updated size, the three by four. You can see that it is ever so slightly even taller than that four by five ratio. Okay, so if you're quite confused, stick with me. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So as of recording this, Canva has not yet caught up to this new post size in Instagram. So it's up to you to know the correct dimensions to put in. I would keep on checking this as I am sure that it's gonna come out very soon. So when you're in Canva and you go to create a new design, head over to the social media section and search Instagram and you'll see lots of Instagram's posts. You see here it's got the Instagram post four by five ratio, which is the previous one I recommended. You've got square over here. I don't recommend doing this unless you have a really particular reason for doing it. You've got the four by five. It doesn't yet have the three by four. If you see the three by four version, use that. It's the right one. But for now, it doesn't exist. So to get your exact size, I want you to go down to the custom size section. Depending on where you're opening up a new design, this will be hidden in different spots, but it will always be there. So look for that custom size option. Click on that and you can type in your own dimensions. So if I just delete these previous entered ones that I've got in here. First for width, width is remaining the same. I'm going to type in 1080 pixels. So 1080. Then for the height, instead of typing 1350, which you would normally do for the 4 by 5 ratio, we're now doing 1440, which I reckon just rolls off the tongue really nicely. So 1440. Then press create new design. But double check you've got your pixels selected here, not inches or millimeters or centimeters, pixels. Create new design. And as you'll see, this is just a little bit taller than our past sizes. Now the beautiful thing here is that you don't have to worry about any of this being chopped off in your Instagram grid. I released a video earlier this year talking about Instagram's new updates, as I shared, but in there I mentioned watch the edges because on a normal three by five post, do I just get up one here? On a normal three by five post, as you can see on this one here, I've added rulers to show you, but these rulers are where your Instagram grid would have chopped off this design. It's trimming off a little bit of those edges, which means that you just don't wanna have text super close to the edge as that's going to make your design feel really cramped when you're viewing your Instagram grid. But now because of this new updated sizing, you don't have to worry about any cropping. It's not gonna crop the top of the design. It's not gonna crop the side of the design. It is going to display this whole design right inside your Instagram grid. For those of you keeping score, this also means that this tutorial that I did about seamless pinned posts means that you don't have to worry about having this seamlessness anymore. I'll share an updated tutorial on this very soon, but in essence, don't stress about cutting off. If you use this updated size, you don't have to stress about getting the edges and doing all the fancy tricks I taught you in that tutorial, which took me forever to work out and is now redundant. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, ignore what I've just said, but I wanted to make a note for those of you who are interested in seamless pinned posts and then watch that previous tutorial. And so in this design, I have all three size posts. I've got the square post, the slightly taller post and then our tallest post. And you can see how just much more narrow it is, meaning that we've got actually more real estate to design with. You've got all of this space at the top, all of this space down the bottom, and none of this is gonna get cropped off in your Instagram grid. So you can design the full page of this, knowing that you're not losing anything. As always, once you finish doing your design, head over to share, download and selecting PNG. And you can just download that one page you can select that one page if you've got multiple pages, press done and post it directly to Instagram and making sure that you hit the little crop button if you feel like it's cropping your page. Tap that crop button and see if it changes it to being its full size. If it's not on your account yet, don't worry, it will be coming. It took mine a few days to rock up. A little caveat to remember is that it won't crop your design 
this way. If you haven't loaded in the exactly right size design, it won't try to help you make it taller. You have to load in the perfect height design before it will allow you to post it. So you can't just upload a square and like try to crop it to the right sizing. You've got to actually upload the right size graphic first, which is where this tutorial will have come in handy. So making sure that you use 1080 by 1440 high pixels for your Instagram post now, and that will give you more real estate to design with. Of course, if you don't want to, that's totally okay. Using the four by five ratio is still 100% legitimate post to post. So if this is all distressing you out, you're like, you know what, this is too much, just stick to that four by five. Losing the tiny little margin that we get extra on this three by four design isn't going to make things totally different for your business. But if you are wanting to stay ahead of the curve and make your designs a little bit easier to design because that grid crop is not there to worry about, then this is how you can do it. And if you already have Canva Pro and you've been doing the four by five design, you're like, Jackie, I do want to update to this three by four ratio. Just head over to the top left hand corner of your Canva, choose resize and press custom size and type in those updated dimensions. So I'm going to have the height, the width is 181080 and changing the height to 1440. And that will then resize your whole design to making sure that it is the correct size. So have fun with this new size, enjoy the extra real estate. And if it's starting to stress you out, don't worry, just keep sticking to that four by five design that we've been talking about previously. All right, thanks for joining me and let me know if you're excited or a little bit nervous about this new update. By the way, Instagram has also released this new feature where you can actually update your Instagram grid in its order. You can change the placement of your Instagram photos in just a few taps. And so if you're wanting to do that, stay tuned. I will share a tutorial very soon on that too. But that feature is only being rolled out to accounts at the moment and mine is still not one of the ones that has it. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, it's inside your edit profile option. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And if you are looking for help to create a really beautiful brand and learn Canva properly for your business and use it really strategically to grow and scale, make sure you head to my free video challenge, the Seriously in Business Challenge, because I want you to look seriously in business. All the details will be in the description below and I hope you enjoy it. And if you're not already, make sure you hit subscribe for more Canva and Instagram updates and tutorials for your small business. See you next time.